Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we created this beautiful image slider with a very cool parallax effect. And in this video, we're going to create a body parts list at the bottom of this section. Now we're going to create a component at the bottom that will show all the body parts list for all the exercises. And for that, we are going to use an API from Rapid API Hub. And the API that we're going to use is exercise DB. I've subscribed to this API and I'm using the free version. The free version lets you make 500 API calls in a month. And if you want to increase that limit, you can pay them. So go to Rapid API Hub and subscribe this API. I'll leave the link of this API into the video description so you can check this out. So in the sidebar, you can see all the API list and we're going to use this body parts list API that will list all the body parts that we can show on our home screen. So if I run this API, you will see all the body parts, back, cardio, chest, and we can use this data on home screen. But the issue is this data does not include any images. So what we're going to do is we create an array with this data that would include the images as well. So let's go to our constants file. And here I'll just copy and paste the data. I've already collected this data. Now each item in this array will include the name of the body part and an image for that body part. As you can see, we have name and image. And image is from our assets that we copied earlier. So if I go to assets, we will have all of these images. So bag.png, we have bag, we have cardio.png. So we have all these images for all of our body parts. Now we can use this data in our home screen so let's go to home screen and at the bottom um, let's create a view and give it a class name of flex1 and in this view let's create a component for our body parts so let's move to components create a file body parts dot jsx and let's create a functional component now let's import it here okay let's also create a comment for this body parts component body parts list okay now we can see our body parts component so now let's move to it and start designing let's give this view a class and we will have a margin horizontal of four let's keep this text and give it a style with a responsive font size and for that we're going to use our responsive library so let's go to home screen and let's just copy the import statement from here paste it here now let's give it a responsive font size of hp3 let's also make it semi bold so let's give it a class of font semi bold and for the text color let's use neutral 700 okay and the text will be exercises Okay, let's save this and we can see our exercises text now after this text we are gonna add a flat list so let's import our flat list component make sure you import it from react native and then we're gonna provide our data which are the body parts that we just copied in our constants file so we are using this data and then we're gonna use a property number of columns we are gonna use two number of columns and then key extractor will be item dot name we have name in each item so that will be the key show vertical scroll indicator to false and then the content container style let's give it a padding bottom of 50 and then a padding top of 20 we are also gonna use column wrapper style so let's use this property and in this style we are gonna give justify content as space between and for the last item we are going to use render item that will be the template for each item in the list so we are going to receive item and index and then we will return a body part card that we will create later and we'll pass the index and the item and we'll close it and now let's close this flat list as well and now we need to create this body part card so let's create a component name it body part card and this will receive item and the index and this will return a template so for now let's just return a text view that will say item just to see if there's nothing wrong so let's save it 
okay we can see two columns and all the items so that means it's working so now we're gonna design this template for the body part card so let's remove this text and here let's return a view and inside this view we're gonna add a touchable opacity and let's give it a style with the width and height so we're gonna use width as wp44 and height will be wp52 and let's give it a class name as flex and justify end because we're gonna show the content at the bottom and we're gonna use a padding of 4 and a margin bottom of 4 as well now let's close this and let's format this now inside this first we're gonna use an image of the body part so let's use image component and here let's give it a source that will be item dot image that we can receive from the item so if you go to body parts you will see each item includes the image so we're gonna use that property and then let's give it a resize mode as cover and a style and let's choose the same style that we gave our touchable opacity WP44 and height will be WP52 okay now let's close this image and see what it looks like let's save this and we can see all the body parts and we can scroll through all of them now we're gonna make each of the image round so let's give it a class name we're gonna use rounded class with 35 pixels and we're gonna make it absolute to fix its position okay now all of the images are looking good and rounded so these are all the body parts now next we're gonna add a linear gradient at the bottom so that we can display the item name over it so let's import the linear gradient and give this a colors property that will be an array of the colors and the first color will be transparent and the second color will be a transparent black color we will use an opacity 0.9 for this color and the next property will be the style so we are going to use same width that we gave our image so let's just copy this and for the height let's use hp15 and now we're going to define our starting and ending point for our gradient so just put these x and y values and you will have our top to bottom gradient so for the ending point x 0.5 and y will be 1 okay now let's close it and save it uh, we also gonna add class name to make it absolute so let's give it an absolute class bottom 0 and a rounded class of 35 pixels from the bottom and let's save it uh, okay we need to make it hp 15 not wp and we still can't see it i think the issue is here we need a parenthesis okay we can see it so this was a typo and we can see the linear gradient at the bottom of each card now next we're gonna add a text component to display the body part name over this gradient so let's add item dot name here and because the text is black that's why we can't see it so let's give it a style and we will use a responsive font size of hp 2.3 now let's make it white so let's give it a class name of text white and let's save it now we can see the text now we want to make the font semi bold and we want to make it centered text center and we want to increase the spacing between the letters so we'll use tracking white class okay so this is finished and all of our components are looking good now the next thing we're gonna do is when we click on each card it should move to an exercises screen and there it should display a list of all the exercises so for that let's create a new screen let's go to app folder and create a new file exercises.gsx let's create a functional component inside this let's rename it and save it now let's move to body parts component and when we click on this button it should move to the next screen so let's create a router using our use router hook from expo router and we're gonna pass this to body part card and receive it here now on the touchable opacity we're gonna define an on press method that will 
push our route to move to next screen but we also gonna pause the data as well so for that we need to push an object with path name as the route name that will be slash exercises that we just created and our data will be in params property and data will be the item okay so when i save it and click on any card we move to a new screen and we can see exercises there but i want to open it as a full screen model not from the side so the way we can do that is go to our layout file and in here we're gonna define a stack screen so let's remove it and open this tag and inside this we're gonna define stack dot screen and we're gonna name it as the route name exercises and we're gonna provide some options with presentation as full screen model and let's close it and save it now when i click on any card it will open as a full screen model from the bottom okay it's working okay so we have this error for a very long time at the bottom view props will be removed from the react native blah 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 so i think this is from a react native snap carousel that we used for the image slider so let's copy this error and see if we have any answer on the google so let's copy this error from here view props will be removed from react native so let's just copy this and move to our browser and see if we have a solution for this so let's go to stack overflow and scroll down so we have a solution first we need to install this deprecated react native prop types let me zoom in so let's just copy this command and install this component move to our app open the console and paste it here okay this is installing and next we're gonna move to node modules react native and index.js file and we're gonna make some changes here so let's move to our app and open our node modules folder and let's scroll all the way down until we see react native so here's react native and we're gonna open index.js file and here let's just scroll down to see if we have a console for this error actually let's just uh, search this error view prop types and this is the console.error that's causing this issue and we have a bunch of them so let's just comment all of them because it's not going to affect the working of our snap carousel it will just stop showing this annoying error so let's comment all of them i think this is it so let's just save it and let's see what else we need to do i knew we need to comment these lines because i've already fixed this error while developing this app for you guys and you can check this full answer by searching for this error now let's move to our app and let's uh, close this file we don't have anything else to change so let's close this file and now we need to stop our server and start again let's also close this terminal and write npm run ios and this will start our app and hopefully we don't have this error now uh, let's close the app and press i here this is going to open on ios and it's building now we don't see the error on welcome page and we're not seeing it on home screen that means it's fixed so if i open the card it still opens the exercises list but we don't have a way to go back so let's move to exercises and here let's give it a margin top so let's add a class name of margin top of 20 for now we'll change this later and let's add a button at the bottom so let's add touchable opacity then inside this let's add a text view that will say go back now we need to define our router to go back to previous screen so let's define our router using use router hook from expo router and the way we can go back is using the back method on our router so let's use back and let's save it and now when i click on it we are going back to the previous screen okay and uh, we should also be receiving the data that we passed from the previous screen the way we can get that is using a hook that is called use locale search params so if i use this this will get us the data that we passed from the previous component so let's console it 
cart item and as soon as I save it you will see the data just appeared in our console saying cart item image and the name that we passed from the previous component and if I open the console you will see this error here you have a large disk that slows to update this error is also coming from the same component react native snap carousel so if i go back and scroll through this slider you will see a lot of items here and that's because of a property we set while creating this component so if i go to image slider we have this loop as true and this creates a very large list of items that we pass so that's why we are seeing this error because it takes a little more memory if you care about the performance then you can change the loop to false and this error will go away but just for the sake of this video i'll keep it as true okay so we were on our exercises component and we were fetching the data and we successfully logged it into the console that you can see at the bottom okay so we have created a body parts list and if you click on any card it opens the exercises model and instead of using the data from api we use dummy data because api data didn't have any images so we use the dummy data instead and we fixed a few bugs and in the next video we will complete this exercises screen and we will use the api to fetch all the exercises for our body part and we will show them here so this is it for this video see you in the next one